Hey guys and welcome again to Brave Knight. Today I'm gonna show you how to add this graphic card into this normal laptop. And that's it. So yeah, let's do it. This time, unfortunately, it will cost you a little bit. But I will try to do my best to make this happen with the lowest cost ever. This graphic card is Asus Strike RX 580. They are ready and top edition. I don't know what it is. And it's 8 gigabyte. This laptop is 5 years old Core i5 with turbo. I don't know what this and GeForce GT 630 1 gigabyte and with 8 gigabyte of RAM. So all we're gonna need is a laptop, an ECB GDC adapter. I will gonna show you that later. A graphic card and a power supply and this is all what you're gonna need so yeah let's do it here is the exp gdc here you're gonna put the graphic card and it has a usb and hdmi power cable and these two i don't know what should i put and it came with two cable the mini pcie cable with hdmi on the other side and the power supply cable now first thing you have to do is detect where is your wireless card in your laptop and remove it and you're gonna put this cable instead of it just like that close your laptop remove the battery now detect where is your wireless card and here we have the RAM the heart the wireless card after that you have to remove these two wires and then Remove the card. Just like that. Of course, don't throw it. <laughs> Cover these two wire with a small tape. And finally, add the mini PCIe cable. And that's it. Try to close the case. And now we are ready for the next step. Now bring your power supply We don't need all that So I'm gonna remove these two Plug this cable in Just like that And then plug this one in one of these I don't know if I did it right or not So I'm just gonna leave it like that anyway After that I'm gonna plug this one here I don't know what I'm doing. And connect the HDMI cable that we get from the laptop. Just like that. Now it's time to put the graphic card on top of this one. I don't know how. Here is the graphic card. I don't think it's the right idea that I show this one. Unfortunately, this one is too big. Should I remove this plastic or not? It said remove protected flame before use. Ooh. Okay, it's too heavy. You know what? I'm gonna just leave it like that. I use some of these, put it under it, and now it's stable. Now I I guess I guess I have to remove the plastic. Ooh. Ooh. And finally connect the external power source to the graphic card connect the power supply cable and now everything is ready to use now the final moment the moment that we all waiting for or the moment that I waiting for does all that will gonna work or not I'm so afraid I'm so afraid this stuff cost me a lot okay let's try it Three, two, one. Nothing happened. Actually, nothing happened. It's not even working. Maybe the power supply doesn't work. It's on.
I did everything. Okay, I did a few changes. I made a mistake. I blocked one of the... Wait, I forget its name. Yeah, I type it down on, on each one. Of oh, six bin PCIe connector in on one of these. This is a big mistake. I should add the eight pin processor connector into this one and the other side with the main wait, I forget its name. Or oh, the main connector or whatever it is. And then I connect this one here. This is a big mistake. I know I'm dumb, but I'm trying to do my best. So it's time to try it again. I hope it works this time. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It's working! actually working oh look at that it's a monster oh oh unfortunately now I don't have an internet because I removed the Wi-Fi cable so I bought this one it's called wireless USB adapter and after I installed the software, now I have three graphic cards, Asus RX 580, Intel HD graphic card, and NVIDIA GeForce GT 630. By the way, you can add some effects to the graphic card. So you can change the light, color, we'll make it blue, for example, or this color, click apply. Ooh. the fan is off because there is no heat but it's still working and of course the lighting effect and we have music GPU temperature if you click this one when the GPU getting hot it will change the color to know how hot it is it's a good experiment but I'm not 100% recommend it it's not practical and not stable and if you actually want to do that I recommend you to get a NVIDIA graphic card, not AMD. Ooh. Anyway, if you have any questions or any idea, you can tell me in the comment. Okay. And that's it, guys, for today. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video.